hello everyone welcome to this video uh, today i will show you some of the issues that i faced when i was trying to install kali linux so i faced three issues the first one says installation media couldn't be mounted the second was related to firmware files some of them were missing so i had to download them and put them in the right place uh, to continue the setup and the last one said um, installation step failed so in this video we will co cover all of these issues I'll show you how we can solve each one and uh, let's begin with the first one installation media couldn't be mounted uh, okay so after selecting the language the location also um, the language for the keyboard um, you will face the first issue it will say your installation media couldn't be mounted all you have to do is to select no and click on continue again click on continue and now select execute a shell double click on it and again click on continue and now we are in shell and there are a few commands that we need to uh, run in this shell uh, to solve this issue so the first command is uh, what was it? Uh, B L K I D. Hit enter, and it should list all the drives. Okay, so now just type L S and uh, L S. Hit enter. It will list all the directories and files. Now, L S C D room to see what C D room contains. There is nothing, so we should mount the USB drive into it. So mount hyphen T. Uh, and then type of the um, USB drive which is VFAT or whatever it's called and then just space and the name of the drive that contains the curly Linux ins uh, installation files so we can see that uh, this drive says it's, it's curly Linux it contains these files and the name for that is sdb1 so just type that name there it might be different for you so make sure you uh, you type the right name and then select the directory where you want to mount them cd room and forward slash just hit enter and now if we run the ls cd room command we can see that all the files are mounted all the installation files are mounted into the uh, cd room directory these are the files so we are done with the first issue type exit at hen and uh, hit enter and now select detect and mount installation media double click on it and the setup should continue without any issues now so we are done with the first issue let's have a look at the second one okay so everyone we just saw how we could solve the uh, first issue now it's time to move on to the next issue firmware files missing uh, so let's have a look at this picture you may see a message like this or you may not see if you don't see one it's good you can uh, continue uh, if you do see this issue then I'll show you how you can fix this as well so don't worry about this Debian thing okay um, uh, it's you will see this exact same message for the Kali Linux as well uh, but the files will uh, differ of course uh, so I'm gonna show you the, uh, the place where you can download all the missing files so don't worry just to see what I'm doing um, so it says the missing f uh, firmware files are these two one and the other one so um, I've um, written this name in this document so I will just uh, copy it now and now open your uh, favorite uh, web browser and type uh, Debian uh, packages hit enter and uh, the very first website it says packages.debian.org just click on it open it and now just scroll down until you find this part it says search the contents of packages make sure that you come in this right place so now um, type that name in here i'm going to just call, paste it here the keyword um, now select the third option make sure distribution is stable and architecture is any now click on search so now it says found one result and uh, here is the file that we are looking for and this file is located inside this package okay so this means that if we uh, if we just uh, download this package it will solve our, our problem because it contains this file click on it 
and it will show you this page it shows all the contents of uh, this package this one so what uh, what I'll do now is I'll search and make sure that that file is located in this uh, that file is one of the contents of this package so as you can see now uh, this file is located inside this package so we are good to go so we need to download this package by coming down uh, until we find this part download firmware MISC non free under architecture you will see all click on it and it will bring you to this page and uh, just uh, click on any of these I'm gonna say Asia first link because uh, I'm I'm in Asia currently so click on it and uh, it will tell you that this file cannot be securely downloaded okay so uh, you just ignore that because these files are safe uh, so keep and keep anyway I'm not gonna click on this because I already have this file downloaded uh, so cancel I'll cancel it and I'll show you that I have this file so let me uh, cancel the other one as well uh, delete delete yeah so if I go to the downloads directory you can see that I have that package downloaded already so this was for the first file now it's time to have a look at uh, this file how we can download this so if you go back to this that uh, image you can see that uh, this file is, is also missing so this file is located inside this directory um, the, you, you notice that there is a forward slash so uh, after the forward slash we need to search for that word so I have written the whole thing in here so uh, I'm just gonna copy this uh, this part after the forward slash copy this and just go back to this packages um, website and go back to the packages here again come come down uh, until you see this search the contents of packages okay the same place just uh, type the name of the file the second file and select the third option stable any make sure that make sure that distribution is set to stable and architecture is set to any click on search and again it will tell you found one results the file that we are looking for is located inside this package so just so just, we just need to click on this and again it will show you all the contents of this package here so uh, let's make sure that that file is located in here so yeah you can see this this file is one of the things that is included in this package so let's just download this package the whole package now um, so download firmware real tech uh, under architecture all just click on all and it will bring you here now select the uh, uh, the server the right server so Asia for me it is so click on uh, I click on this and the download will begin it will again say that this file cannot be downloaded securely uh, I don't care I just keep it and keep it anyway but again I'm not gonna download this because I already have it I'm gonna say cancel and then I'm gonna delete this okay so if I come back here you can see that this file is already downloaded okay uh, now uh, the next step is to just uh, copy paste these two files uh, into another USB drive so I'm gonna plug in my USB drive into my laptop and uh, now okay it's detected so just copy and open the USB drive paste it in the root directory and that's it next step all you have to do is to just uh, plug this USB drive into the computer where you want to install the Kali Linux and uh, once uh, connected uh, once plugged in wait for like uh, 20 seconds or something and then uh, uh, and then select the retry option and uh, click on continue and the setup should be able to find these two packages from the second USB drive okay so we are done with the first two issues uh, we solved them we saw how to solve them and now uh, it's time to go for the third issue installation step failed uh, okay so when selecting and installing software uh, the the installation process will encounter an error it will say uh, installation step failed so um, here is the um, error you can watch it you can read it so All you need to do is click on continue and then um, execute a shell double click on it continue and uh, the shell will open once again 
and now type ch root space forward slash target and hit enter now type uh, cd space uh, forward slash etc uh, oh sorry uh, etc forward slash uh, and uh, apt hit enter and now type nano space sources dot list and hit enter okay so the sources dot list file will open now all you have to do is to remove that hashtag sign as well as the space uh, from the first part of the line so you can you can do that using the uh, backspace key just remove them both now we're good to go the dep is now the d of dep is the first letter in this line that's good that's all what we want so as you can see the, the line the color of the line turned green that means it worked um, we are now good to go so just uh, hold control button and uh, click on, uh, on uh, and press x button hold control and press x button and here just uh, press y button uh, it says save modified buffer just uh, press y and now hit enter and we are good to go just type exit hit enter again type exit and hit enter and again and just select and install software double click on it and the the installation will continue okay everyone so these were all the issues that i faced when i was installing the kali linux and this is how i solved each of them uh, i hope this video helped if it did um, you can show your appreciation by liking this video and you can go even one step further and subscribe to my channel if you want to see uh, more solutions on issues related to linux operating systems uh, especially ubuntu and uh, kali linux so yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next videos